Today, we're here just below the Arctic Circle in Arvidsjar, Sweden. What are we doing here? Well, we have a, a big treat. We're getting to test drive this here. This is going to be the 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan. This is the European version. Uh, it'll come out in 2017 in Canada, but we're here in Sweden and we're gonna try it out in the snow. If Volkswagen wanted, they could call the 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan a whole different car, a whole different name. Why? Because this is Volkswagen's first application of their MQB architecture on an SUV that started on the 7th generation Golf. This Tiguan is bigger, lighter and more refined in all ways compared to the original version of the Tiguan. The model we have today is the European model, but the one we'll get in North America will look very similar. The Tiguan now has a grown up look. Rounded edges are more chiseled now, great looking lights all around and definitely an overall more modern and upscale look. There may be some small differences and wheel choices when the time comes around, but for now I think it's going to be the same. The one big difference is the new Tiguan is longer by 110 millimeters, and the North American version will be even longer than this European model, giving us more cargo and second row legroom, and even a third row option will be available. The interior is new and larger, and similar as what you'd see in the new Golf. The look and feel is fresh, the available 8 inch infotainment screen is crisp, and the interface is very intuitive. I like the feel and size of buttons. This European model comes with a digital instrument panel and at this time there's no confirmation if North America will get the same one. Things I like are the premium features available for cars like the Tiguan now, like heated front seats, radar cruise control and even automatic parking. Arvidsjaur is a small northern Swedish town where European car manufacturers and tire companies do all their winter testing. The Tiguan felt sure-footed on the snow-covered roads and interior noise was minimal. As beautiful and fun as it were on the roads, we're really here to test it in the winter, so off to drive it on some ice and snow and try out the all-wheel drive system. Okay, so now this is a European version of the new Tiguan. So for North America, they have not finalized the engines yet. So, uh, you know, so probably look forward to probably a two liter turbo, a direct injected engine and maybe a diesel one uh, in the future as well. But why are we here in Sweden? Well, because there's a lot of snow and there's a lot of ice right now. It's snowing very heavily and uh, there's we're basically driving on ice with brand new snow on top. So it's very slippery and we are testing their latest fifth generation four motion all wheel drive system. And that is now complete with a four motion active control. And there, that's a dial here we, we have here. We're gonna switch it over to snow mode. And you have snow mode, you have off road. And what that does is it not only just controls the traction, it controls the steering, it controls the transmission, it controls the ABS braking, and it controls all those in one switch. And like I say, this is really, really slippery stuff. And we, we are on regular snow tires, they're not studded. This Tiguan is very sure-footed. So what does this mean for the average everyday driver? Well, you have a lot more confidence when you're driving because what the system actually does, this new system, is it can deliver power to any of the four wheels. It can also predict which wheels will require more power uh, before the other wheels lose traction, which is amazing. So it's kind of thinking one step ahead. And you combine that once again with the steering, the transmission uh, parameters, the braking, the electronic stability control, and it's making this quite easy to drive where this would be a lot harder. If I take this out of snow mode, this would be a real handful. We're going through S's right now, and I, you're just, it's so predictable. It's very, very predictable uh, when this vehicle will normally have a little bit of understeer. It already corrects the rear and brings it around so it rotates it a little bit quicker than what you're expecting, which is make, making it a lot more predictable. I think most Canadians that will buy the new Tiguan will probably opt for the 4Motion 
uh, all-wheel drive system for sure. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised because normally you wouldn't be driving anywhere near like this uh, in these type of slippery conditions and this is really handling it with ease and I'm driving with 100% confidence even though the conditions are getting worse and worse right now. Uh, it's, it's snowing quite hard and like I said, you have a, a fresh layer of snow on top of ice. Probably the worst combination. Whew. Almost hit that tree. Everything kicked in. Whew, I was lucky. There you go, a quick preview of what we can expect at the end of 2017 for the 2018 Tiguan in North America. And I can tell you, you're getting a lot of vehicle. If you're looking for a Tiguan that, first of all, has a lot more technology, a lot more features, bigger with that MQB platform and that fifth generation four motion system, you really might want to wait for this one.